Well, I know that you're down, just feeling like you can't get up, and I just want. Hello, everybody. This is a very brief introduction. Behind me, you can see the squash patch about 500 squash, maybe a bit less. Wouldn't it be nice to see what they are like from high up? Well, Chris Payne, one of our friends and supporters, very kindly came in at the weekend. Just another example of how our community comes together to support each other. And Chris has been using his drone to take some amazing footage of what the farm looks like from, I don't actually know how high up it goes, 20 meters, 50 meters, 100 meters, higher than those trees um, some of the time. And it just gives you a really good perspective of the farm. So please enjoy, let us know what you think and come on down to the farm, see what it's like on the ground. Take care, bye. Hello everyone, this is Joel, the farm manager and one of the growers at Norwich Farm Share. I'm going to do a bit of narration, uh, apologies if that's annoying, um, but it's a choice between that or silence or some music which I have to find and get permission for. So we're just looking at the squash patch which is new for 2020. We wanted a much bigger area of squash so we ploughed it, rotivated it and put some ground cover down to reduce the weeding and we're just coming over the seed propagation tunnel here and these are the salad beds, nine slightly shorter beds. Uh, we generally grow in beds of 80 centimetres wide and 25 metres long. Currently you can see block eight and um, we have nine blocks at the moment each block is divided into nine beds i apologize if the sound sounds a bit distorted that seems to be the effect of recording directly into the laptop um, this is block five just before we harvested the garlic um, that has been in there since november we should have probably harvested this a little bit earlier maybe two or three weeks before we actually did it got quite dry and brown and got a bit of rust. Now moving over into block two, you can see leeks on the sort of center right and lots of brassicas under mesh, which is to protect them from birds, mainly pigeons, which do a lot of pecking. So now we're going back in the opposite direction across the leeks in block two. You can see they're a bit patchy. That's because some of them died uh, when soon after we planted them because of dry weather and lack of watering. So we've replanted them. So we have filled in all the gaps, but you just can't see those smaller leeks. This is a block four with courgettes and carrots in it. Um, you can see the carrot beds in the middle there. We generally plant so those at four rows to a bed and there's more brassicas and coming back to the squash patch so this is block one we've got some very big beetroot on the left there which are doing very well and you can see our courgettes in block four which where we've tried to stagger the planting just so they don't all come at once we're getting about 250 to 300 courgettes a week at the moment they generally do very well but we do have one big issue with the courgettes is that we're not there enough to harvest them um, so they tend to get quite big too big really for giving to our members There are two beds of runner beans and climbing French beans. And this is the other end of our field. So we've cultivated about half of our field and this is what the whole field looked like before. You can see it from slightly higher up. Ideally, we'd like to have the whole field planted up because then we could produce more food. But we are limited by the amount of time that we've got and we don't want to take on more land than we can manage effectively. But you can see that we've got plenty of room to expand in. We are thinking about having a pond in that bottom right corner. You can see the tractor there, which we don't really use very much, but is useful for cutting the grass or ploughing up new land. It's looking really nice at the moment. We have mulched all of our paths with cardboard and wood chip to keep the weeds down, and that 
makes the farm look nice, which we think is really important when people come and see the farm, that it looks attractive as well as producing lots of food. There you can see a great shot of the squash patch. We've got that black plastic down just to keep the weeds down and hopefully next year then we'll be able to use that those beds and the weeds won't be so bad. Our field is surrounded on three sides by quite tall trees which does provide good wind shelter. And here you've got blocks one, two and three and we're focusing in on the centre of the field and you can see our second tunnel with cucumbers next to the squash patch there. It's really nice looking at the farm from above. You can see how it's all laid out and it gives us a nice idea of how everything fits together and the amount of space that we've used. And this is a sort of 360 degree rotational view of the area around the farm. You can see the Norfolk Broads, there's some nearby houses and the forest sort of bit beyond the field which is, there's lots of good habitat around for wildlife and on this side you've got the sewage works which is responsible for most of the sewage treatment for Norwich. We're now going to have some stills and then we'll look at some footage from last year and also from 2018 when the farm was set up. So in 2019 we had six blocks cultivated and as you can see we were just starting to cultivate the beds in blocks seven eight and nine here i am cultivating with the bcs walking tractor with the six blocks that we had already cultivated not much has changed apart from the paths weren't mulched so there was a lot of weeds in the paths which makes it less comfortable and slower for harvesting there were beds which had a lot of weeds in them and particularly things like the sweet corn didn't do that well and the beds got very weedy and so we didn't have, we weren't producing as much as we could have done and, and a lot of those beds are much fuller this year and the successions, the changes from one crop to another are much quicker. We might pull out a crop and put a new one in on the same day and we don't like to have beds like this empty or just covered because we want to be growing as much food as possible. There you can see the runner bean bed. We only had one bed of runner beans last year. We've got two this year. The leeks did really well, as you can see there. And you can see that that whole area that is now squash was just grass last year. So we've had quite a big expansion just in one year, and that was relatively quick to do. The squash seem to be doing well. You can see the weeds there in the sweet corn got quite out of hand. Our weed control this year is much better. So we probably won't expand much in terms of food production this coming year, but maybe in terms of being able to grow green manure to swap beds around so we can build up fertility, there might be a bit of that happening. So this is September compared to July for this year's footage. You can see the courgettes are starting to get mildew and die off. Um, so as soon as the weather starts to get more humid and cooler, the courgettes start to slow down. Singing, man. 
makes it better, oh yeah I said singing makes it better When you've got a broken heart And yeah, singing makes it better When everything's falling apart Well, if you got the blues Just bust down a tune But singing makes it better, oh yeah That's right, singing makes it better When you've got a broken heart And yeah, singing makes it better When the whole world's falling apart Now sometimes there's Makes it better. I said singing makes it better. Well, singing makes it better. Even in this crazy weather, yeah, singing makes it better. I said singing makes it better. Well, singing makes it better. Oh yeah.